What's up guys, Ricky with Rats Gang Gaming here, coming at you with some more Halo 5 Guardians gameplay. What you're looking at in the background is actually my second killing frenzy in the game. And frenzies are pretty difficult for me to come by, to be straight up honest with you guys. This game is try hard at its finest, and to actually get a frenzy in a good gameplay uh, without many deaths is, like I said, pretty hard to come by here. As you can see, this is a pretty close game. We're actually down by quite a few points. The the difference kind of slides in the enemy team's favor here uh, as you'll watch the gameplay. But we actually get the comeback of the century just due to some great communication on my team's part and the fact that we had control of the Prophet's Bane, which is of course the exclusive power weapon on this map here, Truth. And that's actually a really good segue to what I actually want to talk with you guys about today, which is my thoughts on the map Truth itself. I think 343 did an amazing job with this map. Everything from the aesthetics and the background history and the lore, everything that's really in the skybox itself is really neat. It's actually like a, a reference to the initial Halo game right after the warp space jump whenever the Covenant chased the Pillar of Autumn and found the initial Halo ring. It's really neat that this is actually the Arbiter's personal ship and you have the Arbiter's personal sword, the Prophet's Bane, like I mentioned earlier on this map as well. And that's really neat that 343 kind of ties in the lore and the gameplay together like that in multiplayer. That's something I really liked how they did that in Halo 4 with war games, kind of explaining why exactly all these Spartans were fighting against each other. And it's really neat to see them do the same thing here with tying in the lore from Halo, all the way back from Halo 1 now to Halo 5. It's really neat to get kind of a, a behind the scenes look, if you will, of what the Covenant were up to during that time. Aside from the fact that the map has a really rich history and lore behind it and looks great aesthetically, I find that it plays extremely well and similar to Midship itself. All the power positions are exactly the same. You wanna hold the middle of the map, you wanna hold Pink Tower, Big Tower, Red or Blue Base, or even Top Mid if you can as well. If you got a team that has some really good communication and knows how to set up on this map, you're going to have a really great time. And like I said, it plays extremely similar to Midship itself. Now, I find that a lot of people uh, don't really like the map necessarily because they find that it's a little bit too open and not enough cover. And I don't necessarily agree with that statement. In fact, I find it's the complete opposite. On either of the bins, you have the big arch itself on the bin that you have cover for. And even on top mid, you have the four hard light shields that you can get behind and get yourself protected that weren't even actually in the original midship itself. So there's a lot more cover than there actually was in the original game. The issues that I find myself personally with the map is the fact that I can't really distinguish big and pink tower from each other. I always get those two confused because they look so similar. I wish that they would just put a little bit more pink on pink tower so that way I would be able to easily distinguish which, which tower it actually was. And, and Big Tower I think is fine. I think they just need to distinguish Pink Tower from it a little bit more than they already have. And I know that they're a little bit different colors like the, the Big Tower is gold or something like that. But if you're gonna call it Pink Tower, just make it pink. Like put some pink neon lights or something in there to make it a little bit easier. Now the issue that I have, which is a very slight one, it's very nitpicky because they have added additional ways to get into either base, but I don't like the fact that they took out the jump ups. Uh, in front of each base, like the little covenant canisters that could, you could jump up to and then jump again up into the base. Uh, but although they did add the sneaky and the way that you can clamber up into the base from the back, uh, I still think it would be really cool to still have those little jump ups in front of the base, kind of like simplex style where you can jump up and then jump up again, uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, the other thing about the map that I'm not a fan of is the fact that they took out the shotgun. Like, where's the shotgun, man? It'd be so cool to see some shotgun and Prophet's Bane duels, get some bull trues and whatnot in there, some open seasons. Uh, so, you know, this is the beta, so they hopefully will put it in the final map. Um, but that would really be the the only things I would change is put those jump ups in there change the the aesthetics of both the towers and put the shotgun in and I'm good but other than that the map is great thank you guys for watching let me know your thoughts on the truth and I'll see you next time Rap skater